Well, I'm kind of thinking I want to go ahead and get the metal ones out of the way. Because that might be tricky, or that might be really, really easy. But I'm going to start off with a cylinder. And I'm going to scale that down. Yeah, maybe about there. Bring that up. And I'm going to delete the top and bottom face. So we're left with this kind of ring. And I'm going to set that ring to Shade Smooth. And we are going to add on a Shrink Wrap modifier. Target Barrel Plank. And play with the offset. Okay. So that seems to be working pretty well. Now I'm going to add solidify modifier. Alright, that seems pretty okay for now. I think I'll just leave that be. And... Maybe a bevel modifier now. I'll set the limit method to weight. And I'm going to come in here and select the top and bottom rings here. Set their mean bevel weight to 0.02. I'm also going to mark these as seams for you being. Switch back into object mode. And... I assume that bevel is doing something. I don't know. I'm going to try adding a subdivision surface on now. Yeah. Okay, now it looks like that bevel is really holding the edges shape together. Okay. Now this, this isn't looking too bad. Maybe I want, like, a bit more of an offset there. Okay, maybe something between, like, 0.015. So I want it to look like it's gripping, but I don't want to eat in too much. Maybe just a bit. I'm okay if it, like, isn't making contact everywhere. As long as it's making contact on sort of the points sticking out. That should give it a nice realistic look, I think. Hmm. Okay. And I think I'm going to leave it with all these modifiers for now. At some point. We're going to need to apply them all and add in the part where it kind of overlaps and gets bolted shut. But for now, I'm thinking I'm going to leave it like that. And it's looking kind of kind of wonky. So I'm going to try bringing the scale in. Yeah, and that's giving us, like, a more sane overall look to this. All right. So I'm liking that. Now I'm going to duplicate this. Drag down. How many... I kind of... Yeah, I think I kind of like the whole like 2-1 look on the barrel. That looks pretty pretty good. Pretty good, I think. We'll put these two on the bottom.
Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. Hmm. I'm just kind of thinking, how do I feel about the look right now? I think it's okay. I think, I think I'm liking it. I think those straps are good for now. But I should probably make a... Like a metal collection. I don't want things to get out of hand, so I'll put all these straps down into there. And I do think this barrel's looking pretty nice, at least just head on right now like this. Like this looks pretty good. We've got some nice gaps here, but it is sealed. Our metal straps look pretty good. I think this is looking nice. Now we just need this top section and sadly I don't really have a super clever way of making that but you know yellow I'm just gonna make a cube set it to 0.05 by uh, 0 0.2. 0 0.05 by 0.2. Move it up. And I'm basically going to do everything we've done to the other planks. Or I'm going to try, at least. I'm going to mark the backside and the corners as seams. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and basically select everything at this point and give it a bevel weight. And come in here and give it bevel with two segments by weight. I'm going to set this to shade smooth. And maybe I'll even... I don't think I really need to use an array modifier here, but I mean, it might be fun. Like, what if we had seven? We have these seven boards here. If I set to 1.1, 1 .1, 1.05. Yeah, that's okay. That's all right. Now we've got the array. We've got the bevel. We've got the subdivision surface. But you know what we don't have? We don't have noise. So I'm going to add the displace. I'm going to pick just a texture with those clouds set to 0 0.05. And with the direction normal, it's kind of messing everything up. I'm going to put it ahead of the bevel and subdivision. Now it's just not really doing a whole lot. It really doesn't have anything to work with, really. If we crank it up, you can see it just doesn't really have vertices to play with right now. If I set this to Y, kind of see it's, uh, yeah, it just doesn't have a lot to mess with. So I'm going to add some loop cuts in here. Maybe about four. I'm 
Okay. And now, now we can get this crazy wavy thing. But really, I kind of just, I don't want it to be too intense. I just want some light deformation here. Hmm. All right, I'm going to copy that. Change this one to the Z, I think. Hmm. What would happen if I did put it after the subdivision? Hmm. I think I actually quite like that one. Like the Z after the subdivision. I feel like if I put this one after, is it gonna? Yeah, it's kind of gonna make everything get all crazy. That might be maybe a bit much. I don't know. It could be like it could be interesting though. Maybe I could even have both. Like I could try to use this one here just to shift them from side to side a bit. But then grab that other one, put it further down the chain to add more ripple, basically. Hmm. I think I want to do the same thing and put a. I'm going to put a loop cut here. And. Yeah, so the array modifier, that relative offset. Let's switch it to. Like a constant. Ah, uh, that's. Yeah. Okay, so maybe maybe that's more what I want here. Because I want to get these inside each other so they're interlocking. And then we get these gaps. Alright, nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right, that noise is probably a bit too, too strong. It's like covering the gaps. Point one. Yeah, that's probably, that's probably okay. Hmm. I'd like to get maybe some more, though. But that might be... That might be good enough for now. Just gonna scale this down. Scale it up, scale it down, scale it up. I'm going to try and fit this down on here. And I'm going to need to go ahead and apply this array modifier. Because now we basically need to come in and we're going to need to scale this in. Hmm. Well, I did just have one. One more bad idea that might be kind of fun. I was thinking maybe... Ah, uh, would that just ruin everything, though? Or could we use a lattice here? 
Can we use a lattice? Or is this just literally the worst idea I've ever had? That's a fun thing about these videos. All right, Lattice. Wait, what, what did I forget? Yep, I never, that never actually got done. Okay. Last my fire on. You know, this might actually work kind of nicely. Hmm. Yeah. Just kind of thinking, playing with. Okay. Okay, okay. Hmm. All right. All right. I'm I'm liking it for sure. For sure. I'll use these lattices very often. That's super good. Working with this, but This is sort of neat. I'm not even really sure if this is necessarily easier. What if I grab? Hmm. Whoops. That one and that one are not in the same place. But hey, that's probably not the end of the world. Okay, I guess one thing is these harsh corners here. And tighten those in a lot. Gonna yeah, move that in to be close to his friend here. Hmm. No, I think I'm doing that sort of wrong. I probably want to be scaling it in on the X more. If I move that... No, that's really those outer corners. Mm -hmm. If I pull these... All right, so that's looking pretty okay, actually. I sort of like some of the warped look of the boards. I think that's sort of cool. Sort of like that look the lattice is giving us, honestly. Not bad. The lattice is a part of the metal collection that and so is that. Okay, so I need to pull that out, clean up the hierarchy, but I'm thinking 
This is a good break point. I'm kind of liking our top here. I might tweak it a little bit, but need to get down here and finish the metal bands. But I think this is coming together pretty nicely.